Oh, shut up. Cocksucker. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, we're going doing? to Brooklyn. Okay. To the I'm lady's okay. house. And where do you live, Darren? His name is Michael. Hi, Michael. Hello. So, Michael? Yes? Take Canal Street to the Manhattan Bridge. So what are you guys up to tonight? Sounds well, like you're having fun. Well, I have ideas, but, you know. He thinks I'm sexy. Yeah. He thinks I'm cute and sexy, actually. Well, first of all, I think you're beautiful. OK, he thinks I think I'm you have beautiful. a gorgeous face, but I'm turned on by your body. See? What kind of ideas do you have? What kind of ideas do we have? Well, I, I intended to fuck you. Oh, OK. But because this is actually our first Michael, day. don't you enjoy when a man is a man and he just sort of like speaks his mind? Well, what do, what do you think about that? I'm a forward New York woman, so I think it's kind of okay, actually. Really? Yeah. Are we going to sleep together on our first day? <laughs> I think we are. <laughs> big women are like conquering. There's something about being in bed with a big woman. If you haven't been, I'm telling you. Once I discovered it, and she's got this this woman thing going I'm on. I'm a little she's bit voluptuous, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> Just big girls are. <laughs> we're very, uh, we're very almighty oh, ISIS kind of thing, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes the little guy feel like he's big guy. What was it like when you saw each other tonight? I was a nervous wreck. Really? He was yeah, really. I was really nervous. nervous. Why were you so nervous? Because I don't date a lot. Okay. At all. When was the last time you did it? I date it? a lot, so I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm through this. <laughs> when was the last time you the did it? The last time I went on a full fledged date was years ago. Really? Yeah. Now, I mean, the last woman I <clears throat> was about four months ago. What do you, you want? want? You know, something a little I want a relationship. I want, I want the real deal. So you you date a lot, right? I do. Oh, I, I didn't know that. My friends call me a serial dater. What does that mean? Uh, okay. Well, I just, you know, I don't ever really commit to anybody, and I just find it difficult because I'm, I'm, I, part of me is probably a little afraid to, you know. Af you know afraid to? Afraid to what? To, like, commit. Commit. Okay. Because I'm afraid someone won't commit to me. I'm not looking for mad or anything, but I like, I want to have a somebody, you know? One boy, one steady boy. One boy to live with forever and ever. One boy, that's the way it should be. One day he'll find out this is what love is all about. Why have I not heard this song before? Hmm. Oh, because it's our first day. That's right. That's why. Have you had like a long term boyfriend before? Me? Yeah. Yes. Really? Uh huh. How long did you date for? I uh, dated a boy when, since the age of 12. Since the age of 12? Yeah, till so, I was 21, and he was cheating on me was... while I was in college, yeah. He that, broke my heart. That's, I can imagine, that's a long time to date someone. I really loved him. Really? Yeah. How did you meet when you were 12? My mother transferred me to Catholic school, and we sat next to each other. All the boys used to tease me, but they couldn't beat me up like they did in public school. They made me eat crayons when the teacher went out of the room. Like chew them up and everything? Like... They stuffed them in my mouth and made me swallow them. Oh my god. Half of them are probably in jail today. They were mongrels. I bet. I mean... Don't you think we make a cute couple? Absolutely. I think it's such an opposite thing. It's just like, you know, little white guy, big black woman. And I just like I the way she looks. I only white guys now, Michael. Yeah. But I mean, everybody has a type. Every, that's There's nothing exactly wrong with right. that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Right. Yeah, I would say that I'm naturally drawn to Caucasian men ever since I was a little girl. I knew that. But I didn't know anything was wrong with it. There's and, nothing wrong with that. Well, people made me feel like I was wrong. Oh, well, let me help you with that. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. OK. Nothing wrong with that at all. <laughs> hey, baby. Is this your place? Uh -huh. Are you taking me home or something? Take Jezebel. me home. 
take me home. So listen. Yeah. Before before you guys get out, I just want yeah. to tell you this. Okay. I'm also I'm working on this documentary where I I drive around the city and I just like I get New York stories. Beautiful stories and you when you make the film let us know. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, well I'd love I'd love for you to be a part of it. Absolutely. For real. I don't know It's for, it's for a show on there. HBO called Taxi Cab Confessions. Oh cool. I've seen it. You've seen it? Yeah. You okay, so that's awesome. I love that show. So if you if you sign this release form. Wait a minute, we have not been on film. Yes. We have, we have not you? Will you? Will you sign? Wait, come no, on, it's our first is, day. We have I know, to. No, but wait a minute. Oh, come on. I'm, I'm up for it. Wait a minute. Absolutely. Are you are you are you completely serious? I'm completely serious. Yeah, we Look have at the release form. God, what if my mother sees this? There's only one taxi in the city that does this, and you you got in it. I love that. I'm so up. I'm down <laughs> with it, man. What's up today? with it, down with it. Today is the. Let's see the license card. Is she